It is uh, June 24th. It's a Sunday afternoon here at the St. Edwards Park. It's about uh, 2.45 in the afternoon. And uh, I had a late start today. I uh, was too lazy to get up. I was debating to uh, ride my uh, FLX trail or go for a hike. And this is what I'm doing. I'm hiking. Hello. And um, I'm also um, testing out uh, my old action camera that I bought a couple years ago. It's the Sony HDR AS 100V, if I remember, remember correctly. Um, it's also got the, the remote um, viewfinder on there. And testing it out because uh, I'll be doing the Mount Rainier's 93 mile Wonderland Trail in September and uh, I'm doing the Chapman in October with my friend Lauren and I was testing out a couple of options on recording a video I had uh, originally, I lost the footage, but I had originally this camera mounted on the sideways with a clip and it didn't, it didn't turn out the way I liked and while I did bring my uh, Zinu Smooth Q with my uh, Galaxy A Plus footage is excellent and everything else but when you're doing a long hike like that, you know, take it off your pack and, um, you know, adjusting the, the phone to the gimbal, get in balance, I think it'd be a, a little much of a hassle to do that. So, the solution was, I was going to get me a, a go up. GoPro either session or GoPro 5 and have a oh excuse me <laughs> that came out of nowhere and have a uh, something to mount on a cap and I found this particular one oh, hello. Hello. that has a uh, a tripod mount and nice thing about my uh, Sony action camera, the the case itself, the waterproof case, is also a tripod mounting hole in the bottom. So that that turned out perfectly. And like I'm doing a, like a heavy steep climb, I can record and not carry a camera on my hand and not worry about dropping it. And. Uh, Originally, as if you guys know, when you have a action camera fully enclosed in a waterproof, waterproof case, it gets that uh, that water underwater sound, and then when you're trying to talk, it's all muffled. And it was the same situation when I uh, I tested this camera a week ago, and I'll put some uh, footage on that. Let's tell you the difference. I'm gonna say wearing this hat is not really comfortable because it's not moisture wicking like my, uh, my other one is. So I'm only gonna wear this this hat when I'm recording a video, and then I'll have my uh, other cap with me. is breathable this one is not so I'm at the halfway point where you can take the shortcut going through here and it's got a little uh, little beach a little picnic area you could go there's even a park uh, not park but a uh, bathroom and a little grilling area if you wanted to now you can see people here 
Just enjoying the view. <laughs> yeah, they've been fishing. The solution I came up with was to completely take the front part of the case, the, basically the lens protector, expose the microphone so you could hear me clearly. And what's holding in place is basically two foam pads that's enclosed inside the, the case. So hopefully you don't get that rattling sound every time I take a step and it doesn't fall off. And, I won't have to use a uh, anti-fog strip for that. So yeah, I know that uh, this is like a, what the generation two. I think we're on generation four for that Sony action camera. Even though this has image stabilization, but you can still feel my step that I take on the, the video here. So. And the halfway point I was at Edwards Park is the beach. And I went the long way. Um, this is basically one mile. If you went the short way, it's only half a mile, but you get to enjoy a scenic view. There's a picnic table on the left, bathrooms on the left, also. And you can actually uh, enjoy your day here, like a first date. 